losing positions this season, but in both Manchester derbies last term, you had scored by the 30-minute mark. So just how important is it to sort of solve this problem and to start quickly against a team like City? Well, start quickly is one thing, but start good. Uh, you can you can start quickly. Of course, we want to get uh, on the front foot straight away, and you goals they do impact games. And when you get the first goal in a game, it's 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 easier. Of course, it is. So that's something we uh, we want to get to in this game. We've done uh, well against uh, City in the last uh, few uh, few games against them early on. Then again, it's a 90-minute game, and uh, we. Uh, but we want to get off to a, a good start, of course. 17 goals conceded in, in 10 games and just two clean sheets. You, you can see yourself where those problems lie, but what do you feel you have to do to solve them? I, there's loads of things we can do better. Uh, we can defend better from the front. Uh, We've scored quite a few goals in them 10 games as well. So uh, that's been the nature of Man United over the years, that it's been uh, many, many goals. So, but we, have, we want to defend uh, maybe higher up, of course. We, we, we got pegged back in the beginning against in the, during midweek and they scored from uh, some crosses, which was disappointing. Sam and Peach. Afternoon, Ali. How's, how's, the group, how's the group reacted to the, the Leipzig disappointment? And will Edison Cavani and Anthony Martial be available for the derby? Of course, uh, we we were, or, and the group was disappointed on Tuesday night. It's just natural. Uh, we uh, really wanted to go through in that tournament. Now the reality is we we're not. Then we've just got to move on. We uh, it was a tight group. Uh, we decided by fine margins. I think you can see that in in most of the games. Um, they were they had a long travel back, uh, so we uh, we had a day of recovery on on Wednesday. Then after that, the focus has been good. The focus has just been on this game and the Manchester derby, which is uh, what you want the players to uh, to get onto straight away. That's probably the best game that you can uh, ask for uh, after such a disappointment, because it's. It's, uh, it does stick in your uh, system. Uh, uh, Anthony will definitely be involved, so he's he's, he's cleared. Uh, Edinson has been on the grass, but I will make a decision later on. De Gea this week was named among what well, on the shortlist for the World Goalkeeper of the Year uh, FIFA FIFA Pro Award, but at the same time he's come under criticism. Paul goals is one of them for, for the for the third goal. I just wonder what your take on it all is. <laughs> I think David's a, a top goalkeeper, of course I do, and uh, rightly so. Uh, he's on on lists of being the best goalkeeper in, in Europe. And for me, he's handled uh, criticism before, he's handled setbacks before, and he's, uh, uh, he's, he's a little boy that we, or a man, that we, uh, we really uh, rely on. And hopefully he's, a, he's, he's not affected by criticism, and I don't think he will be, because uh, uh, every goal that a goalkeeper uh, concedes, you, uh, you'd be disappointed with. Simon Stone. Um, Ollie, it's coming up to two years since you've been in charge. Do you feel the club is moving in the right direction? This is your team now, because a lot of people say there's no kind of obvious structure to the side. You just broke up towards the end there, Simon, but I can get the gist of your question. Yes, I feel that we're uh, getting uh, better and better and uh, looking more and more like uh, uh, a Man United team that I want with uh, fast attackers, with dynamic, of course. We we want to. Uh, we, we've got good players who've got individual quality as well that can... Uh, create magic out of uh, out of nothing that's always been at man united and uh, but we can see more and more of the penetration and uh, uh, the consistency that everyone says we don't have of course we've we've won the last four games in the league which is starting to uh, become uh, a good good run and hopefully we can carry that on hey ollie um Hi. Have you spoken to Paul Pogba after the events of this week? And do you and the club feel let down by him at all? 
I have uh, I speak to my players on a on a daily basis. So uh and Paul's no different to uh, to anyone else. Uh speak on the four eyes, sometimes you speak in small groups. And uh, for me, what was disappointing with uh, this week was uh, us going out in the, the Champions League. That's uh, players want to want to go through in that. And uh, uh, whatever anyone's representatives say uh, can't really uh, affect me. I've said what I uh, what I uh, want to say about that. Uh, yes, hey, Ola. Hi. Uh, so I'm going to take on my Norway hat again, and uh, your former player Wolf Akram says he wants to take you on in the Euro League. What do you think of the in, of the challenge in the Euro Europa League and its Molde team? You would like to face? Of course, we, we're looking forward to the draw, and we want to go as far as we uh, we can in the Europa League. Now the focus is on City, but when you ask, Magnus has been brilliant lately. Two goals, fantastic goals. He's, uh, and uh, of course, he's, he's never a player you want to play against. So, uh, and I think that shows by all the times I've signed him for all my clubs. But uh, it would be a, be a special day, of course, if you if you draw Molde. Of course, I'm, I'm delighted for them that they've gone through uh, conv convincingly as well. So, uh, me and Arling, we speak all the time. So, um, uh, I'm delighted for them. And let's see what, what the draw uh, makes for us. Andy Hi, Ali. Hi, Andy. What have you and your players learned from those six Champions League games this year and from that defeat in Leipzig the other night? You know, it's it's been a step up from last season, of course, with the Europa League. So those six games have been great in the respect of what you say, uh, test, testing uh, levels. Because we played against two top teams, one that was in the final, one that was in the semi-final last year. Um, we've learned any small mistake will get punished. Any margin that go against you uh, can punish you. you. We were very close to going through in a very good group. That shows, for me, uh, a team that's moved forward from drawing in the Carabao Cup to, uh, to Colchester and uh, barely beating uh, Rochdale and, uh, or we beat Colchester maybe and drew against Rochdale. Uh, we struggled to beat Astana convincingly, uh, Partizan. So we've taken steps from the group stages uh, last year. So that's a year back. Uh, sh short term learning from this, this is that we still have a little bit of uh, a little bit of a way to go to, um, to of course, compete uh, and to go and win the Champions League. Because um, that's, that's our aim, of course, to, to win trophies and be contenders. Last one in this section for James Savundra. Oli, whenever Manchester United lose a game from the outside because of how big the club is, it seems to be a, a crisis or is, or is dubbed a crisis by some. But what actually goes on behind the scenes and, and how does this squad and how does this club recover and respond to each of the setbacks that you face this season? Well, I think every player is the same. I think any player that plays football, or at least they should be, they should be disappointed and frustrated when they lose a game. So you want to bounce back. You want to win the next one. I think we've shown that a few times this year that we've... Uh, handled setbacks quite well uh, during games uh, after so before the next game uh, we you have to analyze what's gone wrong uh, sometimes you you get half time to do it if you lose the game at the end of course you uh, you have uh, a couple of days before the next game you don't have a lot of time to, for the coaching so there's video meetings but individual chats unit chats um, it's important not to press the panic button every time because you know in football you can't win every single game and uh, but there are games that you lose that will stick uh, and hurt more than than others that will have more consequences than others and now we're uh, we're facing the reality without Champions League rest of the season so we need to make sure that we move on uh, get back into the Champions League uh, and how we do that is is just by improving from last season.